Hey guys, today's video is a tutorial that you guys requested. It's gonna be a water material tutorial for V-Ray Next or SketchUp. I already created the file with the scenes. So first of all, we're gonna go to the asset editor. We're gonna create a new generic material. To make it easier to find, we're gonna change the name. Let's name it water. After that, we're gonna Change the preview asset to ground. Now let the magic begin. We're gonna head to the diffuse section. We're gonna turn it all the way towards black. They will be all be set to zero. Next thing is gonna go to refraction. Uh, we're gonna turn it all the way up to 0 0.878 which is equivalent to 224 for red, green, and blue. Reflection glossiness will be turned to 0 0.95, and that's it for the reflection section. The refraction will be will remain untouched. Just make sure that you have uh, the refraction color on black and the fog color on white. Opacity will remain untouched as well. Now, the most important part is the bump section. We're gonna go and to the texture slot and we're gonna add a noise A. It's important to add a noise A. Okay, first things first, color A will be turned all the way to white, while the color B will be turned all the way to black, which is like zero, completely zeros. The type will be changed from noise to Perlin. And uh, the amplitude, we're gonna turn it down to 0 0.85. You can change it however you want, uh, since it changes the range of the noise. Meanwhile, frequency will be taken down to 0 0.05. Frequency usually, usually controls the amount of noise generated in the, uh, in the noise texture. Next is Perlin per meters. The amplitude ratio will be taken to 0 0.5. It controls the range ratio between both colors. Frequency will be taken to 2. It controls the ratio of the amount of noise between these colors. Meanwhile, persistence and octaves, we're just going to keep them the way they are. Color manipulation, we're not going to change anything there. Multipliers, the mode, it's going to be changed to blend amount. It's set to multiply. And you're gonna do last thing, which is in texture placement. We're gonna change it, the type from 2D to 3D object space. And that should be it for the noise texture slot. Next thing is displacement and uh, binding, which, we, which we're just gonna keep uh, the way they are. Now we're just gonna select the plan we have and apply the material we created to it. Next thing, we'll go back to the asset editor, which we already have open. We're gonna lower the quality a bit, change the resolution just to make sure that uh, we got, we nailed the texture that we wanted. A quick uh, rendering, just gonna wait for a minute. Seems like everything is fine. Yep, seems like it's working. Let's stop it. We'll go back to the settings. I'm gonna set the quality to high. I'm gonna render at 2K resolution. And I'm gonna, we'll try to keep the denoise on, yes. And let's render it. I'm gonna fast forward through the rendering and or I'm just gonna skip it immediately and uh, show you the and result. And this is the final render we got, guys. All of the grass and trees and bushes were added uh, with the Scatter plugin, which is a paid plugin for uh, SketchUp, which you can get a student license for. I can explain about it later on. I hope you liked the result that we got. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.